Mill Valley, a town in which crime hardly exists, with a property crime rate of 1.9% and a violent crime rate of just 0.1% in 1980. It would seem to be a safe haven for upper-class families, but a malicious group of killers, thieves, and extortionists, the MV Mob, work quietly under the radar as the unsuspecting residents of their unknowingly claimed turf sleep through the night. The MV Mob originated in 1985 when two high school friends, Joseph Arago and Ricky Baristo, decided to take their menial drug peddling to the next level. According in our closest circle of friends. And eventually, we had kids from all over the county asking what they could do for us. It was weird having the respect of so many kids I'd never met before. We could do whatever we wanted with absolutely no consequence. By the time Rago and Baristo had graduated Tamil Pius High School, while most of their classmates were attending colleges, they were hitting the streets. Before they knew it, they had a strong following of loyal thugs to do their bidding. When they graduated in 1986, they and their followers enrolled in College of Marin, a local community college. The school went from being a place of higher learning to the hub of the gang's operations. Yeah, so like, my parents went to Stanford. You know, they're doctors, but I don't give a fuck. My brother's going to somewhere like, like Brown or yellow or some shit, I'm not really sure. But yeah, fuck them, I'd rather just go to community college. Yeah, you know, we started tracking these guys, Baristo and Arago, when they were in their junior year, but we couldn't find any concrete evidence to pin them down for any specific crimes. When they were in their senior year, we assigned a gang prevention unit that's uh, still active today. Arago and Baristo caught the eye of so many mischievous adolescents by creating a sense of community and family that surrounded the gang. It was a gathering place of all of those who had nowhere else to go. Yeah, I got a shitload of money for my 16th birthday from my grandma. Spent it on tree and yay, sold that shit, got a bunch of money, bought this car. Well, like, my mom paid for like half of it, but fuck how everyone feels, it's still my car. The once sleepy, quiet town of Mill Valley was under its greatest threat of crime. Unfortunately, the limited police presence only made it easier to multiply and thrive under the noses of the unsuspecting community. In the early 90s, home invasions throughout Mill Valley spiked, causing residents to heavily invest in home security. Bold and daring midday robberies caused businesses to flee from the town, leaving the city center economically crippled. Murder rates skyrocketed, climaxing in 2008 when a rival gang threatened their turf. Man, I remember it. Just a bunch of little punks trying to make their way up. I told them, look, get your ass out of Thrill Valley or else I'll bust a cap right between your eyes, you feel me? The motherfuckers just didn't want to listen. Big mistake. On the night of August 10th, 2008, several unidentified MV mob members were returning from a party in San Francisco. According to a verified anonymous account, as they drove back home, a rival gang member shouted at their vehicle, i seen that punk talking shit before, man. That bitch gonna run his mouth one too many times. So, my homies, they just unloaded their guts on him. That night, two rival gang members were gunned down by the MV mob. Later that night, the leader of the up-and-coming rival gang and three of his closest recruits set off for an immediate retaliation. Well, after that, we was just chilling at the trap, you feel me? Me and some homies. A couple hours later, though, Heard some fools busting down the block. That's why I knew shit was about to get heavy. At 12.15 a.m., the deadliest firefight in Mill Valley's history broke out. Four members of the rival gang and three members of the MV mob lost their lives in the shootout. As for the police... This is a 10-4 pulling over Big Kahuku. We have a 87 in, in progress. On April 24th, 2010, Arago was convicted on all 69 counts to multiple life sentences and is serving his time in solitary confinement at San Quentin. As soon as Arago was sentenced, Alex Barillon became a wanted man with a bounty on his head. Approximately 10 days later, Berlin was gunned down outside of his house in Santa Fe, New Mexico, while living under the Federal Witness Protection Program. And as of right now, Mill Valley suspects that Ricky Barristo has now taken over as the kingpin. I just want to say one thing. I created this gang to 
make a community of brothers. We're all at each other's backs, no matter what. Live by the mob, die by the mob, that's all it was, no matter what. But now my brothers have all turned against one another for their own personal gain and greed. I can't stand to see what these kids ruining the legacy I've left behind.